Hello, my name is Adeline Deinhardt, and I am an Education Specialist here at NASA Langley Research Center. Today, I will be demonstrating the Fantastic Forces activity, where students will have the opportunity to use different materials and shapes of materials to determine which are the most and least susceptible to lift, weight, drag, and thrust. Fantastic Forces is a demonstration activity, however, it can be adapted to better fit your classroom needs. It is important before you begin this activity to provide an overview of the forces of flight based on your grade level of audience. Now, prior to starting the demonstration, it is important to set up and construct all of your demonstration materials. To do this, you will need seven straws, a ruler with three holes, three index cards, a flat piece of plastic or similar material, the two cutout shapes at the end of the activity guide, scissors, and tape. We will now go through how to construct each shape and then how to perform each demonstration. First, we will construct the lift demonstration. To do this, you will need a full-size note card and another note card that you've cut in half. Then, you will take two straws and tape one onto the back of each note card in about the same spot. If you would like, you can use pictures of aircraft or wings on the front of the cards or you can leave it as it is. Next, we will construct the weight or gravity demonstration. To do this, you'll take one full-size note card and a piece of plastic that's about the same size or same surface area, and you'll tape a straw onto the back of each in about the same spot as we did previously. As you see here, we now have two objects of equal size but different weights. Next, we'll construct the drag demonstration, which is also the most intensive. To do this, we'll start by constructing our handle using a straw and a piece of tape. First, you're going to want to wrap a piece of tape about one inch below the top of the straw. If you're using a bendy straw, this is about the same position as the bend. And make sure that the tape is evenly wrapped and creates a level surface on the straw. Then you can set this straw aside until later on. Next, you will take your cutout shapes and cut them out and fully construct a tetrahedron and a cube. You will then want to attach straws to each of the shapes in about the same position so that they sit at the same spot on the straws, as you can see we did here. Then, one at a time, you'll want to place your objects through your ruler. This is where it's important that everything lines up at the same height. As you can see here, we have attached our first straw through the middle, and we have each object on each side, and they sit at about the same height. The ruler should now balance evenly on the straw and be able to move in either direction. Finally, to demonstrate thrust, you'll use the speed settings on your fan. You can now explain to students the four forces of flight and begin the demonstrations. Now to start the demonstrations, you'll want to remember that you can either hand the demonstrations to a student as you walk them through it, or you can demonstrate each one yourself. To begin, pick up and hold the lift demonstrations by the two straws so that note cards are parallel to the ground, similar to aircraft wings. Try to hold the straws at the same point and hold the note cards next to each other to minimize other forces. When ready, you can turn the fan on and one of the note cards will exhibit greater lift by raising higher into the air. Then, after explaining to students how lift affects an aircraft, turn the fan off and return the lift demonstrations to the table. To demonstrate weight or gravity, again hold the demonstration by the two straws, but this time have them face perpendicular to the ground. Again, try to hold the straws at the same point and hold the objects next to each other to minimize other forces. When ready, turn the fan on and one of the objects will exhibit less weight by being pushed closer to you. Then, after explaining to students how gravity affects an aircraft, turn the fan off and return the lift demonstrations to the table. To demonstrate drag, hold the demonstration by the center straw with the objects facing the fan. It's important that your demonstration can still move around your center straw. Now, when you're ready, you can turn the fan on and one of the shapes will exhibit more drag by being pushed closer to you, while the object with less drag will move closer to the fan. It's important to note that your demonstration is not going to completely rotate, one is just going to move closer while one moves further away. Now, after explaining how drag affects an aircraft, turn the fan off and return the drag demonstration to the table. To demonstrate thrust, you can use the full-size note card from the lift demonstration or really anything else you have available. When you're ready, you can turn the fan on to low and then slowly raise the speed, demonstrating an increased thrust. 
and your object will move closer to you the higher your thrust. Explain to students the importance of thrust and how it affects an aircraft. You can wrap up by discussing with students how the four forces of flight affect each other and how they are all crucial to aircraft designs, including NASA's newest X-Plane, the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology Aircraft. Thank you for joining us as we demonstrated the Fantastic Forces demonstration. And don't forget to watch our videos about sound and how through the X-59's design it plans to lower the sound of its sonic boom.